In this video, I'm going to be making a main disconnect, over voltage protection, surge protection, all in a convenient little box enclosure. So I'm going to be mounting three solar panels. These are 40 watts each, and I'm going to be running them in series. So this isn't a combiner box. It's more or less of an over voltage protection and disconnect. I'm only going to have this panel is going to be positive, negative is going to run out to here, and then positive is going to run to here, and then my negative is going to come out and connect into here, and my positive from this panel is going to connect into here. That's going to give me just under 60 volts, so I'm within regulations. And for my overcurrent protection, I have this here. This is a mini circuit breaker, and as you can see, we have a fuse. Now, because I'm running such a high voltage, you have to have a proper fuse. This one here says solar PV, and it's rated for six amps at a thousand volts. So you need to have this. This is like a ceramic style. What happens is if you have an overcurrent problem, this is made out of ceramic. If there's any type of arcing, it's gonna be soaked up by the ceramic and it's not gonna cause a fire. If you are running your system in parallel at a higher amperage but a lower voltage, you could get away with using one of these blade fuses, but these are only good up to 32 volts. If you exceed 32 volts, what'll happen is when this little filament inside here breaks, it's gonna arc and continue the connection. So it's gonna avoid your protection. So only if you're in parallel can you use one of these. And I have this uh, circuit breaker. It's also a DIN rail mount. This is a mini circuit breaker. Uh, it's rated for 20 amps, DC, 125 volts. So I'm well above what I need. Uh, this is not gonna be overcurrent protection. I'm gonna be relying on the fuse for overcurrent protection. So this is just basically a main on off if I wanna shut the power off for the line running into the solar trailer. And then last but not least, this is my overcurrent protection. So what this will do, if lightning strikes nearby or anything, or there's a surge of power, these will break, which will combine both the positive and the negative, which is gonna make my 20 amp breaker go off. And then any excess power is gonna be dissipated through the ground lug here that I'm gonna run out to an electrode. Well, I'll turn the panel around and we'll look at the connections. So this is the back of the panels here. Um, these panels did come with, uh, I believe they're SAE connections. I've gone ahead and switched them out for MC4 connectors. Most panels have these MC4 connectors. So what I'm going to do is run a couple of connections into the bottom of the box. This is going to be my main battery cable. This is going to run out from my switching box over to the solar trailer to run the MPP solar charge controller. And then another grommet for the ground cable that I'm going to run to my own electrode. Um, it's completely off grid. Okay, so I'm going to put these inside the enclosure and wire it up and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, something to, uh, to note, uh, make sure you're using the appropriate wiring. Uh, for this build here, I'm just going to be using uh, primary wire. Now, you need to have the wiring for your voltage. This is gonna be under 60 volts. This wiring can handle 60 volts. It has something to do with the sheathing um, and the strands of the wiring, things of that nature. Um, when I do actually go to build a combiner box, which is gonna be this build here, but this isn't till later, uh, I will be using the appropriate PV uh, 1000 volt rating wire for this, but that's not gonna be until later on. So I have my switching box. Uh, you can see here, it's going to be top, so it's going to sit up like this. Now I've already drilled the holes for my two PV inputs. They're going to go there. I just need to drill two holes for my battery and my grounding wire. Okay, now for my MC4 connectors, there's a special crimper you need for this. So this, I'm gonna run my black wire first. That's gonna come up, and then it's gonna connect into the top of here. So actually, I can 
put these in. So as you can see here, there's just a little tab that pulls down on here and that connects onto this plastic DIN rail. Okay, so for my negative, Come in here, up and in. So this is the connector that it has to go on. That is going to be this guy here. I just give it a little pinch to get it closer. And then you put it up in here. What happens is when you push up on this, it's gonna make that curl over. See if I can get this. Now what I like to do is go into the smaller one just to mash it that much more into the crimp. And there you go. You can see how the metal's folded back over and it's digging into those wires there. So I can push this into here. Sometimes it clicks in nice. Sometimes you have to get a flathead screwdriver and push it in there. That's going to run up that way. So I need to put my grommet. Okay, I just got my negative coming up and into the top here. Uh, this is just temporary. I still got to put my battery negative that's going to run out. Okay, now for my positive, it's going to run in, and it's going to run up, and it's going to run into the top of here. I could run it in the bottom, but I would rather run it in the top, because when I pull this out, uh, it's not going to be touching the metal in the bottom here, and this won't be live. So I'm going to be coming in from the top. And there you go. I just like to do it one more time. And there you go. See this one, I need to use a flat head. There we go, it's seated. Okay, I uh, put them on an angle so I can still get in to disconnect. Uh, I did put this a little bit close. I can still get that on and I can still get my fingers on here to disengage. So I'm not too worried about that. But I've got these on. Okay, now I need to run a battery cable out of here, up and around, into the top here. Okay, one thing I've got to do is I'm actually going to run a jumper from here to here. So the PV is going to come into here, the positive branches up, comes through a fuse, runs out and then runs up to a circuit breaker and has a jumper over to the positive here and the main negative comes up and goes to the negative here. Okay, normally I would take this outside but it's raining and it's cloudy so I can't do this outside. I think the lights from my bench will be enough at least to show that the system's working. So I have my box here. Uh, what I'm going to do, this is actually going to be mounted up behind the solar panels facing this direction but my cables here are a little short so I'm just going to run it up like this and also my ground is going to be in a grounding electrode. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is test the voltages on your system. Now I did wire this up myself okay so my polarities are correct and my polarities are correct there as well. Polarities are correct. So now my voltages here should be a lot higher just probably around 50 oh well, if it was outside in the sun it would probably be up around 50 but there you go we have uh, 36.5 volts so now I'm gonna plug it into my box and I'm gonna flick the breaker on and now check my polarities here at this end. 
and my polarities are still good. So I'm gonna connect my battery to my solar in, or converter first, and then I'm gonna plug in my solar second. So this is positive, and this is negative. Now when I flick this switch, this should start to at least see a solar. Probably won't charge because it's coming off the LED lights in here, but we'll see if it recognizes panels. And nothing. Okay, I can't get this to click on, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up outside. Uh, maybe I might be able to get enough. Okay, now you can see here, I've got the battery set up, solar charge controller. Uh, my panels are just sitting on my tunnel cover. And now we will flip the switch. And there, now we have uh, solar power, which is running through my disconnect box. Just proof of concept, just to show you it works. I doubt I'm getting very much. Yeah, I'm not even getting, oh, 0.1 amp. So, not a lot of sun today. Very cloudy. All right, if you liked the video, subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye.